What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Hadija Toto, and I am committing myself on a 90-day journey where I'm going to work out two times a day for an hour and a half. 45 of those minutes will consist of intense cardio, and the other 45 minutes will consist of weight training. Weight training, kinesthetic, agility type training. I have a ladder, so I'm going to pull the ladder out and I'm going to be doing the ladder movements. I'm going to have some hula hoops. I have some cones. I have weights. So I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to have as much fun with this as possible. We'll see how it goes in the morning and at night, but I'm committed to 90 days. Of course, I'm going to commit myself to maybe a one-day break just so I can start off intense, get myself in a habit, replace old habits with old bad habits with good habits. And for me, in terms of food, I'm not really too concerned about food. I eat about a 80% vegan diet. And then the other half is me being flexitarian, <laughs> aka I might have a little chicken here or, you know, a little bit of fish there, but it's not like I might have that for like one meal. So most of my diet is all right and it's fine. I don't eat a lot of greasy foods. For me, it's the movement. It's getting moving. And when you, I call it a fat, a fat, lazy molecule, you know, because I've been in a position where I've been a lot lighter and I've been in a position where I am, I've been a lot heavier than what I currently am. And right now I'm in between that. I'm not too far from my heavy point, but I'm not going to get there. Right. And I'm quite far away from my other goal. So during quarantine, I'm just going to open up a little bit. I've gained like 30 to 40 pounds during quarantine. And that's from lack of movement, mood, you know, repatriation, the list goes on. I can give you a bunch of excuses why I didn't. And I wouldn't even say excuses, but like mental, mental health reasons as well. Like repatriation is real. And when you're in a new environment and you're grieving, like a lot of it is grieving. Like what a lot of people don't know is that I virtually moved my stuff out of my old apartment into a storage. I virtually never got to say goodbye to my students. I virtually did a lot of things. So I just wanted to open up and just share a little bit of my journey. And I'm on a new journey now. And my mindset is stronger than it's ever been. Usually I have a personal trainer and I have a lot of friends that are personal trainers. So I'm committing myself to my own fitness plan first, and then I'm going to, you know, reach out to my friends and see what they got going on. But for 90 days, twice a day, I am committing myself because I, it's not about how I look. I think I'm fine, first of all. Like, <laughs> let's get that straight. I be seeing a lot of fat people, you know what I'm saying? You know, they be like, I was miserable. I was miserable and I was fat. And I hated the way I look. Let me tell you something, baby. First of all, I love the way I look. I love my smile. I love the way that my cheeks, you know what I'm saying? I got little cheeks. Like, let me put on some makeup real quick and know those guys, you know what I'm saying? Blush be popping. But for me, it's the, I'm not used to walking around. I'm used to having a smaller waist, right? And so now I have a little gut on me, right? And so like, I noticed it, you know, like when I'm going up the stairs, I get a little bit more tired or if I'm going up, you know, like going on an incline on a hill, you know, like I get a little bit more tired. I noticed when I actually attempted to go on a 30 minute jog and I was like done after minute two. And I was like, uh, -uh. like I'm used to being able to like get up, go on a jog, jog for 30 minutes, 45 minutes just because. And then coming back, you know, riding the bike all the time. I lived a city life. So going from a city life where I was averaging about 20,000 steps a day just from walking in the city and then choosing to work out you know i was biking to school every day right and then i was coming home going to the gym after work and then you know so for me my lifestyle was a lot different and then literally coming here being quarantined not around people that i'm familiar with you know like it's a lot and i don't think that people take into account how difficult that is so i just want to open up just to say like if you want to make a change, you begin the change, but it all starts in the mind. So like my friend Dante said, you know, in order to change, you know, your lifestyle, make a lifestyle change. I had him on my entrance, you podcast. So in order to make a lifestyle change, you got to replace bad habits with good habits. And so I decided, you know what? 
instead of sleeping, instead of, you know, I'm going to wake up a few hours earlier and I'm going to work out and then I'm going to go to my meetings and I'm going to create an incentive for myself and a, a goal. Like I said, it's 90 days, two times a day. And I'm going to have one day a week starting off, like in the first two to three weeks of just one day off. And yeah, and we'll see what happens. It's not going to be too intense in the beginning just because, you know, like I am very aware that I'm not in the best shape, right? And so you don't want to go too hard the first day. My mentality is there. I've done this before. So it's nothing that I know I can't do. It's one thing when you've never been on this journey before and you're starting off. But it's another thing if you have been on this journey before and it's a matter of just getting it off. You know what I mean? And so for me, it's a matter of getting it off. It's a matter of me having more energy because I notice I'm tired all the time. Like I'm tired all the time. And I'm like, how are you tired and you didn't even do anything? Like, you know what I mean? And it's the re the fact that I didn't do anything. Because the more you don't do anything, the more tired you get, right? And then when your body gets in that energy mode, you start having energy. You know, it's not just about food. You can eat great food all day, but you're still, if you're not moving around, you're going to lose that kind of energy. So what I'll say is this, is I commit myself to 90 days and I expect out of myself to get these workouts in. Like I said, it'll be 45 minutes of cardio on as far as like being on the elliptical machine and I'm gonna do 45 minutes of weights or kinesthetic agility type training because I can and I have the equipment for it and I want to so it's gonna be a lot of fun and it'll be a lot of you know a lot of great things happening so I'm excited about this and I'm getting up and out of bed and just gonna like get and do this and then I want to also work out at night before I go to bed, take a shower, and then put my gym clothes on. Well, that's one thing I notice. If I take a shower, put my gym clothes on in the, like at night and go to bed with my gym clothes on, and I wake up with my gym clothes on, and I already know. So it's a matter of getting in routine. So this week isn't necessarily about you know, like, oh my gosh, I got to lose this amount of weight or I need to lose as much inches. No, this week is about creating a habit. So let's create this habit. Let's get it done. And let's, let's create the reality that we wish to see, right? In trans you, we're all about being the creator of our, the deliberate creators of our own reality. And I am deliberate about getting this weight off. Why? My why is because I want energy. I want my energy back. I want my vibrant personality back. And I know that that comes out because of my active lifestyle. I'm like in your face. Like if you met me from, I would say 2020, of me being home, let's say February, 2020, between that and yesterday, you've met depressed me. You've met the me that is... You know, like she seems confident and she is quite confident and she has a lot of great things to say, you know what I mean? But at the same time, she's not at her peak, you know what I mean? So y'all are definitely in for a treat. If you think I'm amazing now, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now, you ain't seen nothing yet. So let's get these pounds off. Let's do this together. And I'm, I'm just letting everybody in on my journey. I was thinking about it and I was like, no, I don't want to because... I don't want people to see X, Y, and Z. And I was like, nah, fuck it. Like, I'm kicking my fear. And I don't really have no fears. Like, you know what I mean? And so, like, we just got to get it done. So, anyways, welcome to my journey. And I'm letting y'all in on it. It's the 90-day challenge that I'm just giving myself. It's nothing specific that I'm following. It's just me exercising. And my diet's already fine. It's just a matter of me moving around. So, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's time. It's the time is now. The time is now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have a pleasant day.